I hope you've had a chance to order and receive your supplies. If you're using a different nib, ink or paper, that's fine. Just know that this is what I'll be using in the demonstrations. So if you're using different material, results may vary. Copper plate is written at a 55 degree angle and that is difficult for us right-handed folks to achieve without hurting our wrists. So we'll be using an oblique pen holder to compensate. When you hold the pen, make sure that the flange is on the left-hand side as shown here. If you are left-handed, you'll be using a straight pen holder like this one. The nib we're using is the Nico G. It's a great beginner's nib. The hole in the center is the ink reservoir and the tines are flexible and will open to release more ink onto the paper when you apply pressure. The ink we're using is Higgins Eternal. That's a professional grade ink made up of dye and carbon pigment. It dries fast and is not waterproof, but it is light fast or light proof, which means it won't fade on paper over time. And as a personal preference, I'm actually going to transfer some of the ink from the larger container into these small dinky dips and place them in the wooden base. So that will be easier to fill the nib with the ink. If you don't have a dinky dip or if you don't have one of the bases, my recommendation is that you tape down your ink jar onto the table so it doesn't fall over. The paper we'll be using is Rhodia. They're a nice bright white and they're smooth so they won't ruin your nib or pick up fibers. And the ink will sit nicely on it without bleeding. Please print out a copy of these guidelines. They are available on the projects page in the handouts. In addition, you'll want to have a small jar of water and a cloth or a paper towel within reach. That's to clean the nib every once in a while and wipe it dry to avoid rust from ink building up.